Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The name of Allah, most gracious and merciful. Peace be upon the great messenger Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. On this occasion, I would like to share with you the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the beloved manifestation. You find this as a trait of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Mecca, even under the persecutions, right? Where this man from afar comes to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to complain to him about a debt that was owned to him from the same people that were oppressing the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam takes this man who he doesn't even know to the door of Abu Jahl, who used to torture the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and murder his companions and demand that Abu Jahl pay the man back. So. How was it then for people that knew the Prophet وسلم, when you had established a beautiful relationship with him, when you had established an entire connection with him, with the Prophet First and foremost, Jabir who says, the Prophet وسلم, was never asked for anything to which he responded no. He would always do something, he would always say something now he had to apportion the attention that he gave to a certain thing but the prophet وسلم, never fully dismissed the person by the way with his charity even if a person took something from the prophet وسلم, in a harsh manner the prophet did not respond in like a manner i remind you that uh, gifted from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ila ummati rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as salat he narrates that the first thing that rises to protect you in the grave is your salah. And the first thing you are going to be asked about on the day of judgment is your salah. So we want your salah to be in the best state when you meet your Lord. Prophet wasallam said, When anyone of you is engaged in prayer, you are holding an intimate conversation with your Lord. And if you pay attention to the salah, ultimately after you praise Allah for his mercy. So the beautiful salah is when your heart is most presented with Allah and also you are longing towards meeting him on the last day. Anas radiallahu anhu says, I was walking with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one time. He was wearing about a mantle of Najran with a thick border. And a bidon man comes to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he started to pull at that mantle so violently. And he's saying, mimma Give me from what Allah gave to you. And the Prophet وسلم, he turned to him, he smiled to him, he simply took off that birth. And the mandal, he gave it to the man. On top of that, Anas who said, he ordered for him a portion of sadaqah. If so, someone asked the Prophet وسلم, As-sail, the Prophet وسلم, he would give. That was not always monetary, but the Prophet ﷺ would intervene on behalf of anyone that asked for his intercessions, especially with orphans. If you get married, the Prophet ﷺ would look for a spouse for you. If you had a marriage dispute, the Prophet ﷺ would try to solve your problem, would try to help you in your marriage dispute. And this are again, these people were not considered from the nobility of Medina. They are famous in Sirah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. These are just people that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw as his brothers and sisters in need. He always responded, called Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He thought and lived this as a form of worship. Abdullah ibn Abi Awf who says, the Prophet وسلم, was not too proud to be seen walking with widows, walking with the orphans, walking with the poor persons, all the way until he fulfilled their needs. You can see the Prophet وسلم, as a common sight in Medina carrying someone's lord. You can see the Prophet وسلم, doing all of the tasks for the for consider from the nobility of Medina, you can see the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam doing all of the tasks for the consider for the lowest persons in Medina, 
and uh, but the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was uh, honored to do them one of the most beautiful narrations in this regard so i concluding here assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh